Hey, welcome back into the kitchen. Terrell Brazelton from Troops Pizza there in Cahaba Heights. They make everything fresh there, including your mozzarella. That's right, absolutely. So what we've got here is mozzarella curd. Okay. So little Miss Moffat, sit on her tuffet, eating your curds away. <laughs> if you could find whole milk or fresh farm raw milk, uh, you boil it, you get curd, separates into curds and whey. Okay. This is the curd, that's how it looks. It's kind of crumbled. Now they'll package it to you, they'll crumble it all up so it'll be in a big, big block like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is you want to crumble this up and you want to start with water. The flavor for mozzarella gets its flavor from the salinity of the water. Okay. So you want it to be very salty water. You want to use good quality salt. Mm -hmm. You want it to kind of taste like ocean water when you're at, okay. the, at the beach, it, right? Do you use kosher salt or just? We do. We, okay. we actually use uh, Maldon, which is sea salt. Okay. We actually use sea salt to make it as, as authentic as possible. Because when this was first done, it was done by Italian women that were, uh, you know, using that we're boiling seawater, and that's yeah. how this that's how this came about. So you're going to pour that in there. What it's about is about getting your uh, curd to the t right correct temperature, and you're going to be stretching it. So we're going to pour on a little bit of water, a little hot water. We've double gloved because that's hot water, and we're going to kind of stretch and pull, and then we're going to strain off some water. Okay. And, and then it, we're going to add a little bit more, okay. and as you work it. Just a little, it's a process. It's a process. Okay. It's a little process, but what you get is you start seeing how it gets shiny like that. Yeah. And you just keep stretching and keep pulling and keep stretching. So once it's like a back. Stretch Armstrong, you know you're done. That's right. That's if right. If anybody but, but remembers can, Stretch Armstrong. That's exactly right. Once you can get it like that, see, and then you got your little, like that. Yeah. And you've got your little mozzarella ball like that. Now you're ready. So then you go like this. We'll put that in the little ice bath right there, a little ice water, and that'll be our ball. We'll let it cool for a second, but you can see all you're basically doing is just getting this curd hot. Yeah. And once it gets nice and hot and you stretch it and get the lumps out, get it wet again, just keep working with it. You got to work kind of fast. See that. It's kind all right, of cool. so it, it, now, again, like you mentioned, somebody could, they can go and buy this at the grocery store. You can buy it. It really uh, adds to the flavor of a margarita pizza if you're going to make one. It, it does. It, it's, you know, margarita's only got three ingredients, right? Yeah. Basil and marinara and mozzarella. So you want to make sure that you're dealing with as good a quality products as you can mm -hmm. uh, all the way across there. So uh, we will do that. Then we will take our pizza dough. And I'm, just, and I'm sure people know this, but when it's margarita. It's not like a margarita. <laughs> like Margaret Evil. All right. So yeah, we got so we got that dough and it's been dried out obviously and now uh, you know that's ready to go. That's, that's right. Cool. I love that stick. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we'll do so this. I'm gonna let him do his thing <laughs> as he does. That dough. Yeah. And right there. All right. So he's got his he's got his marinara sauce. He's got his fresh basil over there. That's right. He's got uh, yeah. He's he's got the matzo. He's gonna put on there. Um, I'm not, we're going to try to fit this in before we have to go to break, but uh, well, how long will it go in the oven? And go in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes okay. at about 450 degrees in your oven. If you've got a baking stone, that's kind of the way you want to do this. Um, that's definitely going to give you the best crisp bottom, which is definitely what you want. So we got that, then we got a little bit of fresh basil here. Mm. We do ours in uh, what we call chiffonade, which is finely shaved basil as opposed to whole leaf. Makes it easier to eat. All right, we're going to put our little matzo pieces on that. We're going to throw it in the oven, show you what the finished product looks like. So That's stick right. Around. That's right.